good morning, everybody. We're in 1 Timothy chapter 4 today, and we're continuing our reading in this letter the, from the Apostle Paul to his, to his young friend and actually his apprentice, uh, Timothy, who was a young pastor who, who Paul had, had, had sent to Ephesus to help this church that needed a lot of help. And, uh, Paul had started the church, and then when he left, uh, some false teachers came in and began uh, injecting their ideas that came from culture, that came from old Jewish heritage, into the teaching of the, the church. And Timothy was there to counteract that teaching and to, and to correct them and, and to bring them back to the truth. And so we get some of the specifics of that, some more of the specifics, I should say, in verses 1 through 4 of chapter 4. It says, Now the Holy Spirit tells us that in the last times, some will turn away from the true faith. They will follow deceptive spirits and teachings that come from demons. These people are hypocrites and liars, and their consciences are dead. They say it's wrong to be married and wrong to eat certain foods, but God created those foods to be eaten with thanksgiving by faithful people who know the truth. Since everything God created is good, we should not reject any of it, but receive it in thanks. In this case, uh, this is a Greek teaching that uh, is being injected, as I said, back into the, the people of Ephesus. And, and they were teaching that, that marriage was bad and somehow eating certain kinds of food was, was bad. And Paul tells them that that way of thinking is wrong. In fact, God is the one who created all these things. In, in, in creation, he, he, he gave us marriage. And in creation, he gave us this food to eat. And he says at the end of this passage, everything God created is good. And so use them with, with thanksgiving and, and serving and, and, and use them to serve God and, and, and enjoy them. Now, we need to be careful in our day too, because it's easy for, for us to be deceived by cultural teachings or, or even by people who claim to be Christian teachers who, who have come up with their own kind of deceitful ideas to influence people. It's vital for us to stick very close to scripture as, as Paul was telling Timothy to do and, and stay close to our community so together we can discern the truth and we can know what is false. Now, if we read between the lines in the rest of this passage, we might conclude that Timothy was most likely feeling discouraged. And Paul's writing is, is, is very much, an, uh, he's doing everything he can to encourage Timothy. Uh, this church had lots of problems. And it would be easy for Timothy to shrink back because he felt like he was young and, 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 uh, he felt like his testimony wasn't as powerful as, as those that, that were older than him. And, but Paul reminds him, you have been taught the truth. Listen to what he writes to Timothy in verse 11. He says, teach these things and insist that everyone learn them. Don't let anyone think less of you because you're young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. Until I get there, focus on reading the scriptures to the church, encouraging the believers and teaching them. Do not neglect the spiritual gift you received through the prophecy spoken over you when the elders of the church laid their hands on you. Paul's reminding Timothy that he is not self-appointed. He's not going there on his own uh, in his own power. The Holy Spirit has called him to be in this place. He's called him to be, first of all, a pastor, a teacher. And then the elders in Timothy's church recognize Timothy's ability to, to impart the scriptures powerfully. And so he, Paul says, you have the authority that comes from God. And he says, as important, in fact, even probably more important, as important as your teaching is, it's so important that your life match what you're teaching. Keep a close watch on how you live. Keep a close watch and that it matches up to your teaching because you're going to influence lots of people, Timothy. I think Paul's word to us is very much the same as it was to Timothy. It's that our lives matter. 
And especially in those times when we get discouraged that our lives are not making a difference, God, we realize that God has gifted each of us uniquely. And he sent us out into the world to, to give us the privilege of partnering with him and to, and to, and to live for him. And, and of course, of shining his light to the people around us. Uh, our lives matter and others see Jesus through us. And one by one, person by person, God does the changing of lives. That's God's plan for changing the world. So let's join in it because there's nothing better at all. Have an amazing day. If these devotional videos are helpful to you, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you know when we post a new video. And of course, please share them with others.